This morning we'll be using the optional prayers for the memorial of St. Maria Goretti on page 196. The entrance antiphon. Come, my bride of Christ, receive the crown which the Lord has prepared for you for eternity. Good morning. Good morning. Today's Mass is being offered for Loretta Smith Breedy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. Probably well know St. Maria Goretti was a young girl, only 11 years old, when uh, her neighbor, who was 19 years old, attempted to uh, rape her, and she resisted him, and she told him it was a sin, what he was trying to do to her, and he ended up stabbing her, I think, 14 times, and two days later she died, and as she was dying, she forgave him, and said she would pray for him, and in fact, he had a tremendous uh, conversion and reconciliation he was present with uh, Maria's mother when she was canonized a saint. So not only is she a, uh, a witness to uh, chastity and innocence, but uh, also to great uh, witness to forgiveness. Let us come before the Lord now to confess our sins and so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are said to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth, grant me pray through her intercession that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he builds. The more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false, now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the waters. The high places of Avon shall be destroyed, the sin of Israel. Thorns and sisal shall overgrow their altars. Then they shall cry out to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall upon us. So for yourselves justice, reap the fruit of piety, break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain down justice upon you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song, seek always the face of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he uttered. Seek always the face of the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the work, earth, his judgments prevail. Seek always the face of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The 
kingdom of God is at hand, repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus. Simon, the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them, them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. I was uh, walking recently through Dillard's department store at Lakeside, coming in from the entrance from the mall, and I absolutely was astounded. I'm, I'm sure this has been there all along, but I just haven't noticed it. I was astounded at how many cosmetic counters there are in Dillard's. <laughs> I mean, what are there, 50 of them? Like, my goodness. Uh, and of course, uh, those counters wouldn't be there, and all those products wouldn't be there unless somebody's buying them, right? They would have something else that they were selling, some other display. And uh, it just goes to show that, you know, we all like to look good. We don't want to deliberately look homely. We want to look good. We want to look our best. It makes us feel good about ourselves. And it, I guess at some level we think it brings beauty to our world and at some level there's nothing wrong with wanting to look good exteriorly. The problem is that that becomes the primary or maybe the sole focus of our lives. The front that we put on for people. How we look to others. Did I make the right impression? Did I, did I let everybody uh, understand that I'm really a good or cool person? That's when we get into trouble, when uh, our focus becomes superficial. And that is one of the complaints that God has about the northern kingdom of Israel. That's one of the reasons he sent the prophet Hosea to them. Uh, it, on the outside, it all looks pretty good. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. But here's the problem. The more abundant the fruit, the more altars he builds. And not to God, not to the true God, but to false gods, including calves, golden calves, and so forth. Their heart is false, and now they'll pay for it with their guilt. I will break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. Uh, and God is calling the kingdom of northern Israel to conversion and repentance and to a change of heart. God wants them to grow interiorly uh, and to focus on the interior life, the life of faith in God, and not worry about whether they look good to the other nations, whether the, the vines that they plant and the buildings that they built and the temples that they built and all that uh, really just looks good and shiny and impressive. God says, ho-hum, no big deal. And by doing this, they are actually diverting their own attention and focus from worshiping God. And uh, at the very end, we hear what God wants them to do. Sow for yourselves justice. Be concerned about the people in your presence who are needy and hurting in some way. And then reap the fruit of piety. For it is time to seek the Lord. And then that's followed by the responsorial psalm, which says, Seek always the face of the Lord. So uh, I'm not going to speak out against the cosmetic counters at Dillard's, okay? <laughs> uh, it's a little much. But, but uh, 
but let's remember, guys can do this as well, right? We, we focus on external things. Uh, and so the real purpose, the real uh, meanness of our lives is seeking the face of the Lord. Coming to church today uh, is one way that we do this, by our communal prayer, our personal prayer, and then by the way we love and serve and take care of others, especially the needy. That's how we seek the face of the Lord. And when that comes, then God brings a tremendous fruitfulness from our lives and from our ministry. Uh, on the other hand, if the purpose of all of that is for my own self-glorification, that others might notice me and be impressed by me and think well of me, not going to be any fruitfulness that comes. But if it's to give glory to God and to seek the face of God and let the face of God shine through my works and, and my actions and my prayers, then we are on the right path. So help us, Lord. Uh, this was why you sent Hosea to northern, uh, the northern kingdom of Israel. Help us to hear this message again afresh and anew in our hearts and that in our lives we may seek first and above all else to seek your holy face. Let us come before the Lord now to bring our prayers and needs. For missionaries throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit fill their hearts with zeal for the gospel and make them true witnesses to the faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern nations, may God bless them with an abundance of wisdom and moral courage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer physically or emotionally, may Jesus bring them comfort and assure them of his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world and for the safety of the men and women who serve in our armed forces and the first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us not pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this memorial of St. Maria Coretti, we pray for uh, a, an outpouring of uh, holy chastity in our world and a proper and ordered understanding of God's immense and wonderful gift of sexuality. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we continue to pray for an end to violence, war, and racism in our time, for peace in Ukraine, and for a uh, pro-life culture in the United States and in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Loving God, please hear all the prayers we have offered. We make them in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Maria Goretti, 
in your gracious acceptance, O oh Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of our suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promised in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, his fellow bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, St. Maria Goretti, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
they can let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant we pray through the power of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen. Have a great day. Thank you. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and 